Hey y'all, Tom, ND3N here, and welcome to my Radio Shack for a Ham Shack Chat. This video will discuss the use of your FT-991A's data upper sideband mode as opposed to the normal upper sideband mode, specifically for digital modes, and in particular, because they're close cousins mode-wise, the JS8 call and FT8 type communications. The main reason, at least in my opinion, is that the data modes can be optimized separately from the SSB voice modes, allowing you to switch quickly between the two without having to change all of the menu settings. Of course, you can operate digital modes without changing out of the standard SSB settings, but if you've optimized your digital signal processing or DSP equalizer, you'll find some frequencies in your bandwidth amplified with others frequencies suppressed. Depending on where you find yourself trying to communicate across the band, uh, for example the FT8 mode, uh, some of the incoming signals will be lower than they could be, making communications across the entire band less than optimal. Having two separate DSP settings, one for data and another for voice, makes swapping from one to the other as easy as selecting the appropriate. Mode. All of these settings can be made using the RT Systems radio programming software. There's a link to the software in the video description, and I'll be releasing a near duplicate of this video, but using RT Systems instead. Let's go to the menu. Menu 031, cat rate. I've got mine set on 9600 bits per second. You, however, can set it to whatever value you would prefer. This is the data rate between your rig and your computer. Uh, using the USB port in the back. Menu item 032, cat tote, is, I've got mine set at 100 milliseconds, and that is the minimum that you want. Uh, this sets the timeout timer countdown time for a cat command input. Menu item 033, the cat RTS, you want that enabled. Uh, this monitors the computer using the RTS signal. Menu item 62, uh, you want that set to others, and this selects the operating scheme in the data mode. Menu item 64, down here on the bottom, set that to 1500 hertz, and this sets the displayed frequency offset in data mode. Menu item 65, other shift, you also want to set to 1500 hertz. And this is the carrier point in the data mode. Menu item 66, you want your data low cut frequency off. This is the cut for the DSP in the data mode. You just basically want, are gonna shut off uh, the slope so that you get a flat slope across the whole band. And to conclude that, you want menu item 68, data high cut frequency set to off. Now we'll move up to menu item 70, and you want menu item 070, data in select, to be the rear, in the rear. Data item 71, uh, which is data PTT, push to talk select. You want to use your RTS, and your data port select is USB. Uh, data item 072, may seem redundant with data item 070. How redundant, thank you. However, when you select 070 to the rear, that means you can use either the USB or the data ready port. In 072, you're telling it, use the USB. Let me know in the comments if you would like to see me go through all the data settings and give a brief description of what each one does instead of like I have in the past, uh, just say set this to that and this to that and da 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 da. I think a little explanation would be nice and I, I think it might be a nice video, but before I put the effort in, I sure would appreciate your uh, advice. 
Now we're going to get out of menu and we're going into our mode. You'll see here I have my data USB set, not USB, which will show up USB there, but data USB, which shows up as D slash U. Let's head over to the functions setting and we're going to set our width to 3000. We're going to have our meter on ALC. What I've done here, the, these are kind of your persistent settings and I'll show you how to change those. Let me find my meter setting. There we go, meter there. And if you watch this meter and that meter, if I change this one, you can see the bottom one changed. Also, if I change the bottom one, now we'll take that right back to ALC. To change this one, I stuck a notch in here. I have no desire to use notch there. Let me go back and get to where you have your swap. What I want to put down in here is my monitor. So I'm going to say swap and you'll see that start to blink. Within five seconds you need to start looking for what you're looking for. There's money. So I'm going to pick monitor. So that's how you set that up. That can also be set up very easily in uh, RT systems. They have just have a little chart and you can do all of different modes. This is mode selective. So when I'm in data uh, this is what I will see along the bottom. We want to set our RF power and I've got that down in the bottom. It is also up there and we want to set that pretty low. So we're going to take that down. I'm going to take it down to about 10 and you want to start low and work up. On your data modes, uh, whether you're doing FT8 or JS8, you want to call, see if you get any response. If you don't, bump it up like five at a time until you start getting a response. That means that you're not going to be overwhelming the band, especially on FT8 where there are a lot of people on there. Uh, you don't want to be the source of their QRM. We're going to go back to width, one more forward, and you want it set to wide. You can set it to narrow, which is right now 300, which isn't going to give you much of a bandwidth. So set it to wide 3K. That 3K is this 3K that you set up on width. You want your AGC. So let's find that. AGC on auto. You want your noise blanker off, your notch off, your contour off, your DNR off, your DNF off. And you want to set your DT gain, which on the upper part of the screen is right here. I've got it down on the bottom row, so this stays persistent. So you want your DT gain, you're going to start off at a, yeah, let's say six. So I'm going to tune that down to six. So now I'm going to show you how to set your ALC uh, using your DT gain and your power out and how not to overdrive your ALC. If you're overdriving your ALC, then you are going to be splattering. You're going to have a much wider uh, and not necessarily better signal than anybody else. You can look on FT8 and see all those people. And once you know what you're looking at, you can pick out those who are setting their ALCs wrong and those who aren't. And this is to help you become one of those people who aren't setting it wrong. So we're going to start off with our DT gain at six, our power output on our meter. So that'll be showing up up here. And I have got, uh, I've got my antenna plugged into a dummy load and it's a uh, Diamond DL30A uh, dummy load. It's a 15 watt dummy load. And uh, I do have a link to my Amazon Associates page down in the video description so that uh, if you want to pick one up for yourself, you can. I'm going to just set my rig to enable TX. I'm going to be sending uh, CQ. So once CQ comes up, I'm going to set that 
and there we go. Now I'm going to slowly turn up my DT gain and you can see my power output is creeping up. Bring it up until I just get to 10. See I'm not increasing anymore so I want to come up to where it just hits 10 and that happened at 17 DT gain. Now let's set this to ALC and you'll see remember the ALC is that blue bar there and we'll wait for this thing to kick off so you can see I'm barely even showing anything there. Let me turn my DT gain up to show you see that's that's what you that's what you, what I'm getting at 26. So you want it down there around 17 and you're going to have a nice clean signal coming out. You're not using any ALC, but if you happen to go up to oh, say where the S meter reads a 5 or you know 5, that'd be fine. As a matter of fact, that's good. So my power out is at 10 and that's how you set your ALC. Now this whole video series assumes that you already have set up WSJTX for FT8 and or JS8 call on your rig. So you know how to uh, use your device manager on your computer to verify that you're uh, using 9600 or whatever you've chosen through the whole system and that you've got in and set your proper menu settings on uh, WSJTX and JS8 call. Here we are in JS8 call and I'm going to go to file settings be in the radio tab the only thing you need to change here is change USB to data packet that will set your radio up for data USB so I'm going to go here I'm going to clear all yes and I'm going to send out a heartbeat plus acknowledgement request. After sending that, which I just did, it'll go through a cycle or two. And you can see other channels coming up here and they are answering my heartbeat acknowledgement. So we'll see how many channels. Now see we've got several of them. Uh, a plus 2, a minus 16, a minus 6, and a plus 10, and a plus 8, which says that my signal's getting out and it's coming back. So, very pleased with that. Now, let's head over to WSJTX. So, here we are at WSJTX running FT8, and I want to go to my settings. I want to change my mode in the radio tab from USB to data packet just like we did with uh, JS8 call. We're gonna go. So here we are at WSJTX uh, in the FT8 mode. We're going to come up here to our file. We're going to go to settings. We're going to change just like we done JS8 call uh, the USB to data packet. Again that puts our radio in the data upper sideband uh, form. So uh, let's uh, give, you know, let's wait for somebody to come up here that I need to work. So I'm calling uh, WY0V. I am on 40 meters. I'm operating 25 watts my DT gain is at 17 and I'm getting full 25 watts out so I've got a nice clean signal going out let's see if this fella comes back to me he did and he's giving me a plus four so my turn to go back to him and I'm giving him a plus four Next thing we should see is some 73s, confirming the exchange. There's him sending me a 73, 
Here's my log, so I will go ahead and click that and add him to my log. And that QSO's over. I hope that you see the value of these settings for your digital comms. Since doing the same myself, I, in my personal observations, have seen an improvement in both my digital and voice work. Let me know how all this worked out for you in the comments. Tell me about it. Or feel free to ask any questions you like. Please give me a like. Do you like me? By popping that thumbs up icon. And please share. Sharing is fun. This with your friends and compatriots in the FT991A community. And finally, if you've been hesitant to subscribe, I'll ask you, have you ever seen me and Batman in the same room? <music> 73 until the next, hey y'all, here's a link to all of my FT991A content. Give it a quick review. You might find something that you haven't watched there. And it'd be kind of interesting to see how well you think I've uh, developed in doing these videos over the course of time. As always, I am at your service. I'm Tom, ND3N, and this has been another Ham Shack Chat. For now, I am out.